Oh snap, you watching me? Okay, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in to my channel again. For those of you that are coming back and for those who are just now tuning into my channel, thanks for tuning in. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the like button. And yeah, I know you guys are wondering what's in this case behind me. I'm wondering too. Actually, no, I'm not. I already know what's in the case. I'm not going to do a lot of talking. I'm going to go ahead and get into this review. So let me grab this case. It's a pretty big case. This is a case for like a rifle or something. Very huge. I bought it off Amazon. I don't know why, but you'll see this case quite often. Every time I have a gun review, for you, you'll see this case. But um, you'll never know what's inside. Never. So, all right, here, before we get into this gun review, I want to say thank you again for the support. I really appreciate each and every one of you that subscribed to my channel. I felt the love and support, and because of you, I have this review. Y'all ready? <laughs> Y'all ready? Bam! Got the Taurus G2C right here let you guys get a close look at the gun and then we're going to get into the specs of the gun i think i'm moving too fast maybe but yeah let me get rid of this gun case and then we'll get into the specs i asked you guys in the introduction video to guess what my edc is and i don't think anybody got the answer right but I'm showing you right now. This is my EDC. This is the gun that I carry every day with me, everywhere. So, there are reasons why I don't like this gun, but it's a pretty decent gun. I'm going to go ahead and let you know right now, this is a great budget gun. I think I spent like $280 on it, and that's pretty decent price compared to like what you would buy or pay for a Glock with, any other guns like that, but... I don't know. I always talk about Glock. I don't have anything against Glock, but yeah, Taurus G2C. Uh, that's what we're going to be reviewing today. All right. So we will start from the bottom and work our way up to the top. So as you can see here, um, it stops at the purple and goes here. That is the magazine. That's the pinky grip on the magazine. The gun came with two 12 round magazines, identical, look the same. Two 12 round magazines, you grip it in your hand, and it looks like so. Very, very comfortable. I love the grip on this gun. Speaking of the grip, this is a polymer grip, polymer. And the magazine release, watch how smooth it drops the magazine. Butter, butter. That is nice. Uh oh, yeah, that is nice. It don't come, it don't, it's not in a way when you're shooting or anything like that. You barely notice that it's there, but it's a pretty decent mag release. I really like it. Um, I do like right here on the grip, you can have a spot right where you can like rest your thumb and just be comfortable when you're holding the gun. Also right here, they got the index um, hold, like the index resting point here. And then you also have the grip when you actually grip it with both hands you have another thumb resting point so it's a pretty comfortable firearm so we already talked about the grip the mag release right here you will find a safety for those of you that love safeties or have to have a safety on a gun right there manual safety let's see this is what it looks like you can't pull the trigger it won't go anywhere but once you Release that safety, you can squeeze the trigger. Before I pull the trigger, I want to make sure it's known. This gun is safe. There are no rounds in the chamber at all. Very safe. There isn't even a magazine in there. Took the magazine out, so yeah. But anyways, the manual safety is there for those of you that like manual safeties. Um, and uh, when I bought this gun in the range, I mean, at the gun store, the slot release, it was very stiff when I first got this gun. Even the person, even the people that sold it to me, they couldn't even press the, 
slide release. It was so stiff and so hard. That's why I said in the last video, when you get your gun, take it to the range. Make sure it functions properly. Because some stuff, sometimes you buy one, it just jams or it comes apart in the middle of shooting. But the slide serrations are on point. I have no complaints there. These are your slide serrations. You also have the cuts here at the top. Pretty smooth. Um, let's go into the rear sights. They're white dot adjustable sights. And you also have the white dot fixed sight. Oh, excuse me. The white dot fixed sight in the front. So uh, what I mean by adjustable sights, you have screws right here where you can, I think, run screw. You can elevate the sight, like raise it up or down. And you also have a second screw there that makes the sight go left or right, just in case, you know, you're, you look more to the left when you're looking through the gun. Um, yeah. And on top of this, hold on. I don't know if you guys can see that red dot or that lift right there. So when it's a loaded magazine inside, it lifts up and it's red and it lets you know that the, the gun is loaded. What I don't like about this gun is the trigger. It sounds very, very squishy. What is cool about it, when you, whenever you want to do like dry firing and stuff like that, it don't lock back. Some guns, you press the trigger and it stays locked back just like that until you release the slide and it pops back out. But this one, when you dry fire, when you're dry firing, it just pops back up. Um, I think the trigger pull on this is like five to nine pounds. I'm sure it's five to nine, nine pounds. And this gun by itself, it weighs 22 ounces. Not a heavy gun at all, which is why I like that I carry this gun. Uh, like I said, there are a few things that I don't like about it. One, I love purple, but if I want an EDC, I don't want to carry a purple gun. It's pretty bright. I want something a little dark in the clothing and stuff like that. Something that's not going to be seen uh, or noticeable. So that's another thing. I already said the trigger, pretty squishy. And on top of that... I just can't zero with it. Haven't been able to zero with it. And I know I shot this gun straight out the box. So I did some adjusting to the sights myself. And I supposed to take it back to the range. Actually, you guys would come with me to the range. Um, I already ran like, I think, 200 rounds, 250 rounds in here. And I got closer and closer and closer. I just got tired of shooting and wanted to save some footage or save some time so I can put it in another video. But yeah, um, I'm going to show you guys the holsters that I use to carry this gun with the magazine. Unload it. And I put the safe on. So here's a, a holster that I bought for this gun. Well, not for this specific gun. I bought a holster. It fits majority of the handguns. So this is how it sits inside the holster. And you just snap this side in and boom, it shouldn't go anywhere. And then I have my loaded magazine and I just sit it in the front of the holster. It's a very comfortable holster to wear. I know some people use the plastic ones and the um, appendix. I think they call them appendix holsters, but I'm fine with this one. I also have a second one. I'm going to show y'all that one. This is like a waistband type holster. It looks like this. And I'm going to put the gun in here so you can see what it looks like with the gun inside and the magazine. So I'm putting the gun inside the holster. Wait, I think I did that wrong. All right, putting the gun in the holster. Should sit like that. And, yep. This is where the magazine will go. Boom. And you wear it around your waist, just like that. A lot of people may prefer the gun to sit on their left side. I like for mine to sit on the right. 
So I don't know why. It's just my preference. But yeah, that is the first gun to this channel. It is a nine mil, chambered in nine mil. It is a budget gun. This is a budget gun. A lot of people uh, love the price of them. This, I think I paid like 284, 285, maybe no more than 285. And I, I fell in love with the looks, you know, it looks pretty smooth, but once I get it zeroed and if I can find like a, I don't want to paint it black, but if I buy a second one, I probably get it all black, but I really, really like this gun. I may, I may continue to uh, have it as an EDC. I'm not sure yet, but yeah, I don't know. It's a cute gun. Let's get another look at it. I just like looking at it. Again, this is the Taurus G2C. Chamber in 9 mil. 9 mil. Yeah. Like I said, great things about it. The grip is very, feels very good. 12 rounds. I think that's a pretty decent amount of rounds or a, deep, a pretty decent capacity. You got it comes with a manual safety. You got the trigger for dry firing. It's it's a pretty good gun. It's just I got to be able to shoot and I don't like the trigger. Trigger is very squishy. But please comment. Get in the comment section right now. I don't care if you look up. Just say hey, 9 mil guns or whatever. Put it in the comments. I might go buy that gun. I really need more interaction in the comments so um that's all i have for this video thank you for watching please look out for the next video i just may have something better all right until next time